What's going on guys, this is TechZone UK and today I want to show you the Windows host file. Now the host file first came around before um, the DNS servers were really about. A DNS server is a domain name server and basically what it does is it converts google.com into an IP address. That's pretty much all it does. Now obviously now uh, technology is advancing and things like that our DNS servers are hosted with either our ISP or a um, another company like OpenDNS or or whatever really, whichever one you've you've got it set to. If you've if you haven't changed any settings, it more than likely is your internet service provider's DNS server. But obviously, the internet needed to work somehow, um, and the internet used to work by having a host file on a client PC, which still is being used nowadays. Um, and basically whenever you try and access a website like in google.com or internet uh, if you try to access a website like google.com in internet explorer or uh, google chrome or firefox or whatever they still look at your host file to see if that record is in there and if it is it can make it it can make websites faster to access and things like that so that's basically what I want to show you how to do today is to look into that host file show you a bit how it works show you some of the records that are in there and how we can add our own record to make it a bit easier to access some uh, other sites. So the first thing you need to do is actually find out where the host file is. Now the easiest way to um, access the host file is to do it probably by the, you can do it via the um, Explorer window. So to show you how to do it here, you just go my computer, C drive, uh, Windows, then come down to System32, Drivers, uh, etc and there's our host file or you can open up run and you can type this path here now I'll put that in the description for you so you can just copy and paste that in but just put that straight into run here paste it in hit ok and it'll come up with this window so as you can see we've actually got a few files I'll go over these in, a, in another video the LM host file I think was used with wins I think that's a previous version before DNS um, but basically the host file is what um, we want to be taking a look at. Now the easiest way to edit the host file is by copying it and put it onto our desktop here. Now this is because we can't actually edit root files. Uh, Windows file permissions isn't set up like that so what we do is we just copy it in and then what we can do is edit the one on our desktop and just drag it and overwrite the one that's in the, the ETC folder here. So I'm going to be using a program called Notepad++ which is a great program for editing files um, it supports multi languages and stuff, but I'll get into that in another video. However, um, the easiest way to do it is you can open it, click open, and then it'll say choose what program you want to use to open it. And if you haven't got anything installed, you can just use Notepad here. And here, here it is. But I'm just going to right click mine and go open with Notepad plus plus. It doesn't really doesn't matter which um, which program you use. Um, it's all they all work the same um, so as you can see here this is a sample host file used by Microsoft TCP which is transmission control protocol and then you got IP which is um, internet protocol there um, so basically um, as you can see this file contains the mappings of IP addresses to their host names so like I said just converts an IP to a, a website address really uh, each entry should be kept on an individual line. The IP addresses should be placed in the first column followed by a corresponding host name. Uh, the IP address and the host name should be separate by at least one space. So, as you can see here, we got an example. We got an IP address, and we got a. Uh, as you can see, this has actually been commented out by using the pound sign. Uh, we got an IP address, and we got a host name. Um, so we got rhino.acme.com, and we got a comment here for the source server and these are just examples on how, how it all works so let's have a look here localhost is a very common um, or very well used <laughs> in Windows and testing uh, NIC cards which are network interface cards um, they are for um, your Ethernet and wireless cards and, and things like that uh, but you can ping your wireless card using using these now why have we got two? Well, the first one here, this is um, an IPv uh, version 4 address, which this is a 32 bit address because each section is made up of 8 bits. Um, I'm probably getting a bit advanced. <laughs> I should tone it down a little. Um, 
and then we got obviously a uh, which is pointing to local host and then we've got a IP version 6 address uh, loop these are both loopback addresses which is a 128 bit um, loopback address no, I on version 6 so what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter here and we're actually going to enter in our own host um, host line I guess you call it so what we can do is we can type an IP address and then our host name now what I did is I went and did a trace route so T-R-A-C-E-R-T to google.com and it came back with this IP address here now this IP address is probably dynamic meaning it changes every so often depending on their servers um, so it probably wouldn't be the best idea to put this in but you'll get the message but what we could do um, is in here we can paste that IP address so you you should in theory if we have a look here I'll show you if we copy that open up Internet Explorer Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Open up into Internet Explorer there, paste that in. That should, in theory, take us straight to Google, as you can see it has. So what we're going to do is we're going to link this IP address to a name. So I'm going to put five spaces, because there's five spaces between this number and this text here. It says it needs to be just one, but if you have five, it sort of separates the in columns, I guess. So it makes it easier to read. So if we go one, two, three, four, five... what we can do now is put in a name so we could put my google page okay and what we can do is press save and close out that and all we do is drag this host file into the uh, etc folder here if the uac comes up press yes and then it asks us if we want to replace it so i'm just going to press overwrite so now in theory if we go to our web browser and we type HTTP colon slash slash my Google page like so and hit enter it takes us to Google now it's taking us to this encrypted page because I've got the plugin um, I can't remember which one it is now uh, HTTPS encrypted that's it HTTPS everywhere um, so it's taking me to an HTTPS page because that's a plugin but what I'm trying to say is if you do HTTP my Google page as we put in the host file notice we don't need any .com or .co.uk or anything like that we can just hit enter and that takes us straight to Google and to be honest with you if you could do that with all the websites that you go to um, you know uh, on a daily basis it would probably make your web browsing a lot quicker um, so for example I visit YouTube a lot, I visit Facebook a lot, if you could just do a trace route of those um, those IP addresses or, or those websites sorry and get their IP addresses and put them into your host file you would then be able to access those websites a lot quicker because you wouldn't then need to query the DNS servers which in theory is, is still time maybe just milliseconds but if you want a fast browsing experience then obviously if you could somehow cache all those addresses you go to in the host file and you'd have fast browsing so there we go guys that is TechZone UK and um, really how to use a host file so sorry if it's been a little bit advanced in some places um, but I was just trying to accommodate for advanced users and, and beginners as well so there we go really so uh, thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button uh, below this video and also give it a like because that would be awesome um, and best of all if you get any questions or know anything about the host file or how you can add more things just uh, drop a comment uh, below or if you want to give me some feedback on how I can improve my videos and things like that as this is actually the first one for my channel then um, please do um, and I'll Obviously, if they're reasonable, I'll, I'll reply to them. Um, and, yeah. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.